Well, that heavy rainfall that hit areas in Barber County pretty hard last night from all those storms lasting into the morning hours. Leah Nicely is there now. She has more. She's live in Philippi. Officials say calls started coming in just after 10 p.m. with reports of water rising in several areas throughout the county, and calls continued to get worse. I spoke to residents and officials on how the storm affected different communities. And from there, it just kept escalating. Uh, we had multiple water rescues that we, our first responders, went to overnight. This morning, we have multiple roadways at least 15 plus roadways that are washed out completely. This year, Barber County has been hit multiple times by heavy rains and flash flooding, and Wednesday night's rainfall came quick. It got out of hand when we were walking across the road from our neighbors, and I pointed to, to my grandma that there was a hole in the bridge, and then we walked down that way a little bit, and we came back, and then a wave came through our yard. Officials say that since the beginning of the year, between 150 and 175 calls have come in relating to high water issues and water rescues. The areas most affected by Wednesday's storm were parts of northern Philippi, Motesville, Nesterville, and many other areas along the Barber Tucker County line. If you travel Route 38 into Tucker County from Barber County, the main road, along with all the side roads, are completely destroyed. It's going to take a lot of resources from our DOH, a lot of money to repair these roadways. 